Okay, on number six, what we have is, it says, a you purchase a video game that has a sale price of $37. So the sale price is 13 bucks off of the original price. Find the original price. This is kind of connecting to your prior knowledge about sale price discounts. This is what it's referring to. If you take the original cost of something and you take away the discount that's given to you, your result will be the sale price. Does this make sense to you guys? Yes, we did this in our percentage unit. Right. Okay, so then I go into the word problem. The sale price is $37. That's the first number given in the very first sentence. So does that mean it's the original night number? It belongs at the end. Because that's what the label says. I put it where the formula has the same label. The sale price is 13 bucks off. What does 13 bucks off mean? Is that the original or is that the discount? So I'm going to put the minus $13 right there. This is the subtraction sign. What I don't know is the original price. In fact, it says go find it. Okay, well, I'll call that N. That's my original cost. But Mr. Kim, when I was working this problem, I got the answer faster than you. That's what I did. I took $37 and I added 13 bucks and I got $50. How many of you guys did it that way? Okay, here's what you were thinking then. If I take these two numbers, I'll get my variable of n. Okay? Pay attention to where the variable is there, to where the variable is in my equation. What's the difference? Turn and talk to your neighbor. Okay, Kevin, can you call this one in black? Can you call this an algebraic equation? Why not? All right, this variable n, nothing is being done to it. Whereas over here, the n is being subtracted from. That's what makes this an algebraic equation, and that one is not. Okay? So this is what I would give full credit for on a test. This is what you would have to write in the, in the equation box. Now you will get full credit because you got the right answer for that part. Just like I would over here, I'll add $13, which is the inverse. And see, I end up getting 50 bucks over here. That's a zero sum or zero pair, so N is $50. Both, both ways gets, gets you 50, but one has algebra and one does not. Are we clear on that, that one, guys? That's my expectation, that you are able to identify and use variables to solve word problems. Clara bought six equally priced magazines for $36. How much was the cost of each magazine? Picture this. Magazine one, two, three, five, six. If she takes the cost of them all and adds them up, how much does she pay for them all? 36 bucks. Do you know the cost of any of them? What should we call that cost then? We'll call it N. And how much is this guy then? All of these are N because they all cost the same amount. If one of them was one penny expensive, more expensive, or one penny cheaper, I can't call it N. I'd have to give it a new variable name because it's not the same cost. How many N's do you see up here? Six N's, if you multiply them, you would get $36. This is the algebraic equation. I got the same answer, Mr. Kim, but over here, here's how I settled it. I took my 36 and I divide by six, and that's how I get N is six. Okay? Again, look at what your variable is doing. Nothing. But my variable here is being multiplied by. All right, then the inverse operation is what you use, and you get n is 6 bucks. Are we feeling pretty cool about that? Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. 
Mr. Brown has 360 in his checking account today. Yesterday, he only had 240. How much did he deposit? So yesterday was $240. What happened to this 240? We added some more to it. And now, he's at 360. When you have an algebra equation like this, feel free to rewrite it so that it, the variable's first. Now you can only do this with addition and multiplication problems. When it comes to subtraction and division, order truly matters. You can't flip-flop on subtraction. Josh? Um, ask your question. 20, um, 20, I'm doing that right now. Okay, N is what? Um, it's $120. I could have got it faster than you, Mr. Kim. I could have just said, 360 is what he has today, take away what he had yesterday, and then you see you get n that way. Okay? But that wouldn't be an algebraic equation, once again. Absolutely. Check your work that way. But write your equation which as what you see in green in every single time.